I'm Peter Morley, a patient advocate, member of the disability community, and a social security beneficiary. And I'm Alex Lawson, the executive director of Social Security Works. We're here to talk about why it's so important for Democrats to protect Social Security by lifting or eliminating the debt ceiling before the end of the year. Republicans are openly talking about holding the debt ceiling hostage in order to demand cuts to our Social Security uh, and other benefit programs. These plans aren't a secret. Top Republicans in both the House and the Senate are openly talking about how they will force cuts to Social Security. That includes Senator John Thune, Mitch McConnell's top deputy. Democrats can stop these Republican attacks while they still control both houses of Congress. In the final session of Congress, the so-called lame duck, they can have a clean raising of the debt ceiling, either through reconciliation or through a process they used in 2021 with a rider on the omnibus spend spending package. But Democrats can do this right now. In the midterm elections, Democrats ran on a promise to protect Social Security. Now it's the time for them to keep that promise. Call your member of Congress and tell them it's time to make good on your promises. We cannot leave Social Security's future in the hands of Kevin McCarthy, Mitch McConnell, John Thune, and these other Republicans who are openly promising to destroy the program. We need our elected Democrats to act. Tell them that tens of millions of Americans rely on our earned Social Security benefits, and we're counting on them to keep those benefits safe. That means lifting or eliminating the debt ceiling before it's too late.